Mentor channel and Sandcastle Tip of the Day. Today's Tip of the Day, how we detailed the facade of this building. It's a fun one, a lot of detail. Let's get right to it. So I'm using one of my melon ballers to actually lay this out. And this kind of matches the architecture. And I think it's gonna work out pretty good. It's funny, it's easier for me to film holding the camera or the iPhone with my right hand. So I'm carving with my left, which is not my natural carving hand, but that's okay. I'm having fun with it. I just measured from the center line of this building element, one level length over to the center line of this side tower on both sides and created a little mark. And that'll help create the symmetry when I pound up these side towers. It's coming along pretty nicely. Glad you guys are joining us for these Sandcastle tips of the day. We're gonna keep on going and keep on sharing our Sandcastle techniques with you and having fun with this one. If you haven't uh, subscribed or, or you haven't smashed the like button, you gotta remember to smash the like button. I've pounded up the two side towers. Now I'm gonna try to make them equal and symmetrical. That's a challenge. I'm working on this facade actually at night. So, I don't know exactly what it'll look like when I come back out here in the morning, but um, we'll see. Hopefully I have enough light focused in the right ways that it, um, it'll be okay. subscribed you gotta get in there and subscribe even if it means getting a google account and subscribing so you get notifications for when we post our next videos the final details with the additional lines uh representing the block and the details of the balcony and the side towers really make this facade sing. What a fun day of carving. If you like this video, smash the like button. Remember to subscribe so that you can stay abreast of all of the Sandcastle tips of the day that we're creating for you. Until the next one, be well, and we'll see you soon. Bye.